a farewell to a classic rivalry, a championship, and a BCS Bowl all wrapped into one festive package. The Big 12 Championship features Oklahoma's Ryan Broyles, a finalist for the Bolitnikoff Award as the best receiver in college football. He'll frequently face off against Nebraska's Prince Amukamara, a finalist for the Thorpe Award as the top defensive back. Showtime in Texas. Texas goes to Pasadena. So many memories of Big 12 championship games. It's so fitting that the final championship game features two rivals connected across time. He's all the way home! Across borders, before the Republic was even formed. But territory is still turf, home soil, and the schools that stand on it are symbols of the proud states they serve. So when these teams meet, there's more than a game on the line, even when the Big 12 title is at stake like today. No, this one is about legacies and long-held grudges. This is Exhibit A for rivalry, for what the word truly means. This is Oklahoma versus Nebraska. The land, the people, and their teams. Deflected incomplete on the pass, and that was Rennell Lewis, number 56. Watch how the offense brings the play clock down. Down to five seconds now. Now they snap. Take seconds away. Hit. If that's a fumble, Nebraska has recovered it at the 19-yard line. Back to the pistol. They haven't shown the diamond formation yet here tonight that they use frequently against Okie State. Swing pass. Murray, great receiver. First down. Tiptoes down the sideline. Basic 4-2 look and a nickel. Landry to throw out of it on the slant. So the first time we've seen the slant, Broyles, his second catch of the night. First down and 10, and Hellu is back on the field. And thrown for a loss that time in the backfield by Price Macon. Tyler Reed, number 25, steps behind it. Play action, and Martinez going to put it up. No. Going to be sacked instead. Ronell Lewis, big number 56, Herbie making another play. Now they'll motion out of it. Got one on one. Makamara, they'll throw against him, and a great move that time by Cameron Kinney. Kinney drove off number 21 and came back for the completion. And they go back to it again. And they run Finch, the freshman, out of it. And he comes free for the first down. Squirts through there. Now, after the six yard gain, they come back second and four. Burkhead is slammed down at the line of scrimmage. Martinez, we told you, is 0 of 3. But here he is in a passing situation. Here's his fourth pass. Knocked down. Incomplete on the play as Jamel Fleming jumps it. Of course, Robert, if Connecticut's win holds up, it'll be up to the Orange Bowl to decide if they want UConn to play the ACC. If not, they will go to the Tostitas Fiesta Bowl and play the winner here. Landry Jones, confusion a little bit in the backfield, but they make the completion. <laughs> best play of the game. Best play of the game is right. <laughs> Kevin Wilson call that baby again. A little misdirection yeah. there. Here's DeMarco Murray. So that's what they have to do. 27 plays and 109 yards for Oklahoma. 18 and 84 for Nebraska. But the scoreboard's one-sided. Here comes Murray again. Crosses midfield. So it's been a steady diet of Murray and Finch. And now it'll be number 17 on first and 10. Play action. Downfield, down the middle. The freshman, touchdown, Oklahoma. Kitty Stills takes it in. It's a 49-yard scoring strike. Jones to Stills. Play action in trouble. Here he is on that ankle, reaching for the first down, and Lewis, Rennell Lewis, holding him back. They have four targets here on this third down for Martinez. 
Offensive line gives him plenty of time. Can't find a target. Now he's in trouble. Cuts back. Shakes a would-be tackler. Throws to the middle. It's intercepted. Can't throw back across your body. Picked off by Travis Lucas. Oh, the young man's got to learn on that. Let's see how tight the coverage is by the Huskers. Corner show man. Great grab for the first down. Coming in underneath. Jones looking far side. Dumps back to Hannah over the middle. He's got great speed. He showed it last week. Ball loose on the sideline. Out of bounds. They were the last team to have possession. So they will retain the football. So here's your diamond look. Murray and Finch both there. Takes the swing. Looking downfield. Now drops it off. And complete defense working that sideline. Yeah, then they switched yeah. him back here. Yeah. The running back. Whips a fastball right down the middle to Trent Rattery. His first catch of the night. And the last time they tried a quick snap on fourth and short, and they got stopped. So this time they take the full amount of time. And Kevin Wilson calling plays up in the box. Sends it down to the sideline. And now they're ready. And now Landry Jones on the bootleg. Easy first down. He put it down to one score if we can hit this. Stevens was hot last week. Stay is hot. Jesse has been solidly in Auburn's corner. As, uh, as you point out, my partner, Kirk Herbstreit, picked him to win the West back in August. And put that exclamation point really on this season. I think they've been down by double digits four straight times as Nebraska hands it off here to a hello fumble. Sooners have got it. With two minutes almost left on the clock, they've got a scoring opportunity. Travis Lewis, who made the interception, has now recovered the fumble. Oklahoma with two timeouts. Jones with great time. Slant leg. There's the post. Touchdown! The freshman, Kenny Stills. After further review, the runner's right knee was down at the half-yard line. Half half It'll be first and goal at the half-yard line. Now DeMarco Murray will check in. Millard is right there. Here's your tight power formation. And Landry Jones dives in. There's no question about this one. Line judge quickly will jump in. There's the signal. And now they're an extra point away. You can see that Martinez has not been a threat running with the football. Injured ankle. Turf toe. Read option. And Helu going nowhere. Rides the option with Helu. No daylight. Nothing doing. Going to give ground. Austin Box, the junior from Enid, Oklahoma. They're going to put only two down. Now three come down with their hands on the turf. Martinez has to step away, and then he gets crushed. Macon again, and the ball comes loose. The umpire says Sooners have recovered it. The umpire is pointing that the Sooners have the ball, and indeed they do. Making second sack of the game, and right away, Landry Jones, he'll drop this one off. DeMarco Murray in a foot race, picks up 10 yards, and steps out of bounds. Nebraska's turned it over three times in their last four trips. Comes pressure on third and down, third and long. Beals trying to get there. Martinez hit on the throw, incomplete. Couldn't get it deep enough. Kenny was open. First and 20. Drop it off quickly now and then let the running back see what he could do. That's Madu out of bounds on that far side. Jones running away from pressure. Guns it to the sideline for the first down. Hit Kinney. Hannah said, that's not the play of the week. She said, that may be the play of the year. I yeah. wish to great. Landry Jones got a man deep. Broyles down to the two-yard line. Ryan Broyles, a finalist for the Bolitnikoff Trophy. This one looks like about a 25-yarder. Let me check that. It looks like a 20-yarder. Correct myself, and he slid that one through for the tie. O'Hara kicks.
knocks it off. This one's returnable. From the two is Marlowe. And he is thrown down on the 12 yard line by Lewis. Ronell Lewis gets on him. And it's because they've taken away Martinez in the Nebraska running game and they're forcing the Huskers to have to throw to execute. So here comes Henry. Not only can he kick field goals, but check this <laughs> punt out. And Broyles is inside the 15, looking to pick up a couple of blockers. If he gets an alley, and he is down at the 39-yard line. Murray and Finch come in now on that diamond look here for the Sooners offensively. Finch looks to break it out. Great first down run. And Stanford gets the automatic spot in as an at-large, probably finishing in the top four of the BCS standings. Burkhead is the running back. Martinez pulls it away. And he's going to be sacked. Hello. Back in as the running back. Pulls it away from him, and he's going to try to throw it downfield. Can't find an open target. Stays on his feet, and then he is thrown down by the sack. And that was Price Macon on top of him again. That is about the third time. He's at the bottom of your screen. Fumble! Oklahoma recovery. Travis Lewis. He's had an interception and two fumble recoveries tonight. Four Nebraska turnovers. Three fumbles and an interception here tonight. Henry Jones, great play action. Drops it back off to Murray, the man he faked to. And Murray crosses midfield. Trouble again, steps away from Mr. Crick. Fires back middle. Got his man. Going out of bounds is Cameron Kinney, and they were trying to strip him. They're one of three on fourth downs here tonight. This is the fourth time they've gone for it on fourth down. And they make it again with Kinney. Offensive line gives a great time this time. High. Kenny pulls it down. 27 yards. For the lead. The gate. Tyler Gate is in this backfield with Burkhead. Bring Marlowe through the formation. And now Burkhead in trouble. Throws it down the middle. Martinez. Incomplete. Fleming was able to play catch up though, Herbie, and uh, that broke that up. Who knows? Martinez back under center. They're going to throw it. Can't find a receiver. He'll dance now in trouble. Fumble on the ball. Battle for it. There's a scrum on the field. It's interesting. They're going back to Martinez, feeling that they need to have a little bit more of a, a veteran, experienced player back there taking these snaps. Second and seven, here's the blitz, and they sacked him again. Tony Jefferson, the freshman from Chula Vista, California, rolls through, and that's the seventh sack of the night. That'll do it. Oklahoma goes to the desert. The Sunners have won the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship. The victory formation will come out here. A winner again in the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship game. Bob Stoops and the Sooners. They'll be playing either Connecticut or Stanford. We'll find out for sure tomorrow night. Well, here comes their reward. A trip to the desert, Glendale, Arizona, the Tostitos Fiesta Bowl on January 1st, 8.30 Eastern on ESPN. Oklahoma will play either Connecticut or Stanford. We will find out tomorrow night at 8.15.